hi guys welcome back to the channel and in today's tutorial i'm gonna be uh, showing you how to read engineering drawing so as you can see we have the 2d drawing over here and from this 2d drawing we are going to build this 3d model in clear parametric now if you are into cad or if you are into design specifically mechanical design you should be able to understand how to read drawings and interpret things uh, and then do the 3d modeling from 2d so for this tutorial i'm gonna be uh, showing you how to read this uh, convert this 2d to 3d and then in the next part of this tutorial i'm gonna show you how to take the 3d model and uh, convert it to 2d drawing for uh, uh, for further so uh, i hope you guys like this video make sure you press the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this so yeah let's begin with the tutorial i'm gonna close this now select new you can select part solid name the part you can use the default template but uh, i'm gonna uncheck that press ok and uh, in the templates i'm gonna use uh, mm because all these dimensions are in mm so you can select any mm part but for this i'm gonna select mms part solid press ok you can you can uh, fill in all the details if you want press ok for for further so uh, as you can see this is a simple model uh, we can see the top view over here front view over here we are going to combine these two views and then convert it to 3d model to read this drawing we're gonna uh, take different approach but i my point of uh, approach for this model is if we can see this is a rectangular base on which all these other things are done so we are gonna take the base of the rectangle as the reference and from there we are going to construct the design so let's start from top plane extrude sketch view select center rectangle do one rectangle like this now this rectangle has a length of 126 mm and the depth is 46 see this is the rectangle that uh, outer one is these two profiles circular profiles so make sure you uh, read the drawings carefully this is 46 so i'm gonna do 46 for this one press ok and for the depth part you can see it is 8 mm in depth press ok again to finish once we have the base we can proceed on to add the other things in this thing all right so for that let's start with the front view we see that uh, circular profile is there uh, the circular profile one here one here and uh, third circular profile is on our top plane which is up to 28 so let's start from here front plane extrude sketch view circle draw one circle dia is 28 and for the dimension part this depth is 45 you can see center to bottom face is 45 and this is from this edge it is 53 plus 42 go to dimensions select center point select edge press middle mouse button 53 plus 42 perfect our sketch is fully defined press ok now this thing is uh, symmetric uh, along the axis of front plane and it is 56 so in depth change it to symmetric and give the depth 56 press ok will look like this it's fine another profile we will see is this one so front plane extrude sketch view circle this circle center is on the base so like this or this is given in terms of radius 21 and uh, the distance between this circle and this center 
is 53. So to get the center point, we are going to take reference of this circle, close, select dimension, select the center point, center point, middle mouse button 53. And then uh, we don't need the full circle. So select line command, draw one line like this. Select uh, delete segment, trim it like this. Press OK. Again, this thing is symmetric and 56. Press OK. See, this is also 56. Now, after that, uh, on this top lane, we have a circle profile. Select top lane, extrude, sketch view, circle. Uh, this is 22 and uh, it is 42 from this age so dimension from this age 42 okay it is by default taking as a remove material but we don't want to remove we want to add up to 28 depth all right now from here we are going to concentrate on this profile so it's one line here one tangent profile and uh, it will be like this in top view so for that i'm going to select this face extrude sketch view take few references one two okay line command one line like this another line like this so we'll do one thing we'll need circle also select circle one circle here one circle here now let's delete some segments which we don't need don't need this segment don't need this segment, don't need this segment. Still, our sketch is not fully defined because uh, it didn't turn pink. So, what we can do is select this two tangent and our sketch is fully defined now. Press OK. Uh, traverse direction and this depth is 7. You can see from here, right? 7 mm okay now this thing is obviously mirrored uh, to the other side so select that go to mirror select front plane yes okay nice and easy now after this i will select some create some holes this is a simple hole of eight dia you can use the hole command for this but uh, i'm going to use the extrude for now so select this face, go to extrude, sketch view. Uh, I need one center line. So my center line will look like this. One circle like this. This is eight dia. And dimension from this to this is 10 mm. Okay. And what we can do is select this circle, go for mirror, select the center point, go for dimension, select both the center points, press middle mouse button, 26 from here. Fully defined, so press OK. It is going to extrude, but we need to remove material, reverse side, OK. See? Easy select the extrude 6 go for a mirror right plane okay easy now we have to uh, give this cutouts for all these profiles so let's do it one by one select this face extrude go for circle if you hover your cursor on the edge it will give you the center so you can take the center and draw the circle Obviously, this is 16. 
and another one I'm gonna do for this one which is going to be uh, 14 radii so change it to radii 14 press ok we're going to do reverse side remove material you can say through all ok like this last one on this face so extrude circle this will be 12 tire ok reverse side through all ok See? <coughs> last part is to add the rounds select round give the radius as 8 I have already selected it because I was doing it just now select all the edges of the face press ok and this completes your model in 3d so i hope you guys uh, like this video you understood how to interpret 2d drawing and then convert it to 3d in case if you have any doubts with this one feel free to comment down below i will respond to all your comments as much as possible and uh, I will see you in the next tutorial with the drawing part so I will continue from here and then do the 2d drawings for this part in the next tutorial make sure you like this video uh, subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next tutorial peace out